Tonight, a woman says more than $30,000 worth of her clothes, shoes, and purses were all stolen out of her luggage at Charlotte Douglas Airport. She says when she landed, she knew something was wrong. When I felt how light it was and I opened it, you know, so my heart started pounding. Now, our reporter Erin Edwards spoke with the woman. Erin, she says she certainly did not expect to be missing her belongings. Erica, when she picked up her bag here at the airport, she says she noticed her bag was lighter, but thought just things moved around while traveling. When she got home and opened the bag, she found dozens of expensive items were missing. I was departing from Las Vegas, attending a wedding for the holiday. After a five hour flight from Nevada, Cassandra Smith landed at Charlotte Douglas Airport on New Year's Eve, but her luggage wasn't there yet. There was about uh, maybe about an hour. 15 minutes delay in us collecting our baggage uh, from baggage claim. When she finally got her bags at the airport, it was 2 a.m. Tired from traveling, Smith drove home to South Carolina. When I felt how light it was and I opened it, you know, so finished, my heart started pounding. Several of Smith's designer items were missing. I had a, 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 Birkin, a Birkin bag and Chanel bags. I had wallets and the wallet in each one of the bags. A police report with CMPD states the items lost add up to $12,000. But Smith says the items are actually closer to $30,000. It's not so much the money, but the sentimental value. Smith says CMPD has been reviewing surveillance video. There were the only two employees who had access to my bag. She also says she's been going back and forth with Frontier over the phone and email. I reached out to Frontier myself and they sent me this statement saying, quote, Frontier Airlines is aware of the matter in question and has cooperated with local authorities in their investigation while also investigating the allegation internally. We are fully committed to delivering our customers belonging safely and securely to their destination. I looked into the case to see if anyone would be charged. I learned that the district attorney decided not to press charges. Erica. All right, Erin. So she's just out of the money and the items at this point? Right now, that is the case. All right. Thank you.